So this, guys, is the Voice of America 15580, and of course I'm using the AirMLA 30 loop on the Grenig G5. You might notice another thing if you've seen my videos for a while, how it look, looks a lot better than it actually was in the last videos. It looked beaten and battered and ugly, and it actually is better. Still a little bit of work left, but... Uh, doesn't it look kind of better? Well, I used this, and I'll be making a separate video to talk about it on how to clean the rubbery, gooey finish of radios with that. So, uh, testing out, of course. So, this is a Grenig G5. Wanted to check it out with uh, Voice of America on uh, the MLA 30 loop, and I'm having fun actually uh, testing out the loop on different portables. Of course, uh, we can shut this one down. And how about we uh, look at uh, what's uh, here? So the same, the same signal, Voice of America. But this one with the W6LVP loop and the uh, old Toshiba receiver. So uh, check out the same signal on the uh, Ready Wow. So this one is not plugged in. So we're going to plug in the uh, wire antenna, the uh, loop antenna. Sorry. There we go. Good. I think that somebody has just plugged something that's making noise. They feel like time has been abandoned and left to the slaughter. President Trump spoke Monday as Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and General Muslim Kobani, head of the most Turkish government that the United States has relied on to battle Islamic State militants in Syria. And, uh, let's check it out with uh, maybe the... Uh, XH data D808. Let's plug in the antenna here on the side. And let's check out what we can listen to. Had the officer not resigned, I would have fired him for violations of several policies, including our use of force policy, our de escalation policy, and unprofessional conduct. Late Monday, Dean was released from jail after paying a $200,000 bail bond. So, uh, kind of uh, nice to see the uh, the signals on the different receivers, and of course uh, the good old uh, Grenadier G5 that uh, looks a lot better, as you see. Uh, really, a lot of fun. We're going to be testing out and, of course, comparing the radios uh, with the. Um, the uh, telescopic also because somebody, well, a couple of you wanted to uh, test out side by side of the G5 and the XH data, so we'll be checking that out also. And we'll be tuning around more with the loops on the different uh, receivers, which is kind of nice. And uh, we're having a lot of fun with uh, all of this on uh, the different radios. The only one that's not on the MLA 30, so all three were just shown with the MLA 30 is this one that is on the W6 LVP. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos, the tests, and a look at uh, the different receivers getting uh, signals through uh, the uh, loop. I'll be commenting what I think of using the MLA 30 loop. With a portable radio, I think uh, that is a nice combination. Not too expensive, so you could have a really nice radio setup thanks to that. And uh, as I test out and play with the radios throughout the day, we'll see if anything negative comes out of my um, usage of uh, these uh, different radios and the MLA 30 loop together. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.